Hey everybody, I decided to do this video because I wanted to have a candid conversation. So, we did see that Foodie Beauty dropped her video, but don't think that that video was today. Because by all means, that video could have been done on Monday or yesterday, Tuesday, or it could have been done even Sunday. Because we were hearing the Beezers talk about buying a hijab on October the 2nd when she was in the mall. I didn't really pay too much attention to it because the Beezers say a lot of things, but in hindsight now, it kind of makes sense. So you might think her hijab stuff was a video that was actually done October the 5th today, Wednesday, but that's not necessarily true. It could have easily been done on the 2nd or the 3rd or even before that. So who knows? So that also brings into question, why, uh, where is she? And also why is she away? Because typically when she's away, um, she's away for a very good reason. And typically the past year, year and a half, those reasons were Nader because now Nader is away and has been for quite some time. A lot of people are saying maybe he's laying low. I'm not sure if that's the case. Some people say he's in the bin, a.k.a. the jail. I don't know. Some people say he's just suspended so he can't come on. But then again, why isn't Didi on? Because Didi has a channel herself. So why isn't she coming on? So there, there is so much to this whole situation. Because now I'm thinking, what the, what is going on with this? Um... What is happening here? What's the deal? I have no idea. Um, uh, Nader just hasn't been on in in practically a week. We'll see if he's on tonight or tomorrow, and we'll have to see. I think uh, every once in a while we have Foodie Beauty actually take a day off. Uh, it's very rare. We might have this a couple times a year that she actually does this, take a day off. Um, Super weird if she actually takes two days off in a row. Usually it's like a day, maybe a day and a half, a day and a third. And she just can't keep away because she likes the attention. So two big things. Once again, where is Natter and where is Foodie Beauty? Uh, about the whole Natter case on the third, still haven't had confirmation or denial about that. I have no idea what's going on with that. So your guess is as good as mine. I can only speculate, and at this point, I just won't speculate on anything. All I know is that October the 12th, he has something in Gatineau, and that's pretty much all I know. Uh, what else is there? The whole Kuwait thing, like, what's up with this new guy and her? Is this a scam or scheme for him to get her over there and then while lock her in a room and have her be online all day to line his pockets with money because she does make a pretty good amount of money because in high times with uh, the high to natter back in November, December and January, she actually yeah, was making close to that 20k, uh, maybe over the 20k. Can't really exactly believe her sometimes because she says a lot of shit, but that is another thing, right? And then what about this mansion? What's going on with the mansion? Did she really pay her first and last thinking that she is going to be able to get that money back in terms of it put towards the mortgage? Well, did she get that in writing? What has she gotten in writing? If anything, did she actually sign a contract? Didn't she say she did? But am I sure that she actually did sign a contract? Can I really believe Foodie Beauty did something she says she did because she she talks so much shite that sometimes I just can't believe what she is saying. Ah, there's so much to this. So is she going to get scammed with the mansion? I have no idea. Time will tell. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. I don't know. She says she, renego she renegotiated the, the amount that she's going to pay. So she got it uh, lower. I have no idea what she really is going to do. All I can do is say, hey, um, just watch out what you do, Foodie Beauty, because you don't really want to be out thousands of dollars because you got into a scam when a lot of people were saying, hey, watch out. This might actually be a scam. 
you gotta listen just like the last time people are like watch out for Nader because the stuff he's saying and doing um, ain't ain't kosher so to speak ain't right um, French fat girl warned her she didn't listen a lot of people warned her she didn't listen a lot of red flags were being thrown up she didn't listen so there's just so much to this entire situation right now I don't believe she's gonna go to Kuwait I don't know what's up with this uh, guy that's currently in Kuwait um, I don't know what she's doing with all these plethora of guys video game guy Tony Kevin Mr. Coffee there was Habizer haven't heard about him in a while uh, Metin 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 however you want to pronounce it guy after guy after guy there's always a new guy being introduced at least like once a week right like so what's up with that like can't she just chill work on her mental health work on her physical health work on her spiritual health get that better first before working on guys because a lot of guys can pick up when you are not right as in you know you haven't fixed your 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 physical health issues or you know you're just not right or in the right mindset i should rather say of uh being able to date because some people date when they shouldn't be dating they're just not in the right mindset uh, their finances are not in order a lot of people us human beings can really pick up on little things like that when you're just not in the right frame of mind not in the right mindset to really date around in a very serious manner so she really should be doing the best for her mental health doing the best for her physical health doing the best for her spiritual health and you know if she's gonna wear a hijab she should not do that as a farce because it's extremely offensive to a lot of people if she should take the time to you know learn the culture and you know do right not do wrong because a lot of people are pissed off right now i'm sure a lot of people are going to be super chatting her a lot of people are going to be leaving comments that's why the, the comments are now off and she in her community tab she is talking about tj fridays i looked it up it seems kuwait city has a lot of tj fridays subway a kfc um multiple mcdonald's then they got hardy's i believe it's was called if I remember correctly there's so much to this but yeah the comments are off um, she isn't as posty in the community tab section as she usually is when she's away so even that's a concern but hey at the end of the day um, do I expect her to be on tonight maybe um, it's possible it's probable she could be or maybe she'll just wait till tomorrow who knows I have no idea I mean I'm just here to commentate and uh, react and whatever happens happens is all i'm gonna say so leave me a like subscribe if you haven't already leave me a comment and i will see you later take care